this is Lucy and welcome to a new series where I show you the quickest and easiest way, even if you're a solo player, to complete the Pioneer Scout badges. If you don't know, the best reason for doing these quests is backpack upgrades. If you complete the Order of the Tadpole, you get a backpack upgrade that gives you an additional 60 carry weight, and if you continue on and complete the Possum badges, you will get an upgrade that gives you an additional 120 carry weight, so definitely worth doing. I've always enjoyed doing these and although they are a little grindy, I find them more immersive than the scoreboard. Plus, you get a cute outfit. So let's get started. To start the quest, you need to travel to the Pioneer Scout Camp, which is in the Toxic Valley, near Grafton Dam. From the spawn point, head on down into the camp. Watch out for ghouls, there's one in every cabin. You need to talk to Scout Leader Jaggy, who will induct you into the Order of the Tadpole. He will tell you that you need to demonstrate kindness, helpfulness, bravery and growth to complete the quest. To demonstrate kindness, you need to stimpack an ally. This does not mean that you need to stimpack someone on your team. You can stimpack any player, so if you play solo, Make sure to stock up on stim packs at public events and be prepared to stim pack anyone in need to complete this part of the challenge. But be aware, only regular stim packs work for this challenge. We are now off to the Toxic Valley to demonstrate helpfulness to Kitty Corner Cabins near Wavy Willard's Water Park. When you arrive, clear the area of enemies they are normally either rad scorpions or snallygasters. Head around to see Ranger Scout Leader Pompey, who will probably make disparaging comments about your age. Or maybe it's just me. Are you still a tadpole? That's okay. I won't judge you, even if you are the oldest tadpole I've ever seen. Be aware there may be a Mile Alert Queen hiding in the lake. Just as you but if you ignore her, she may leave you alone. Waste. Scout Leader Pompey will give you the daily quest, Operation Tidy. He will ask you to clean up toxic mutagenic waste in the valley and give you five locations on your map. These can be anywhere in the toxic valley, but they are normally clustered close together. Travel to the nearest spawn point, if you have it, and follow the diamonds to collect five toxic mutagenic waste. Watch out for enemies and make sure to pack some Radaway or Brahmin milk. Thank you. 
When you've collected them all, head back to Kitty Corner Cabins and place them in this barrel. One of the rewards for completing this quest is pemmican, and I suggest you hang on to it if you intend to complete the Possum Backpacker Badge. To demonstrate bravery, you need to head over to Dolly Sods in the mire near Thunder Mountain Power Station. Once you arrive, beware of the Yaogwai. There is always a Yaogwai at this spawn point. Head on in to the centre and clear the enemies inside. You will need to talk to Scout Leader Treadley, who will give you the daily quest Stings and Things. You need to retrieve insect parts. He will show you on the map areas where you can collect these, but you don't need the, to collect them from these locations. If you don't feel up to traversing the mire, you can get ticks from the Moonshiner's cabin in the forest. Lucky. Just about time to eat. What's that noise? Show you. What was that? A rad roach in the shed opposite Mama Dolce's. And sting wings from Bleeding Kate's grindhouse. Once you've collected all the parts, return them to Treadley to complete the quest. So we've now completed three out of four of the challenges, but the next part is more difficult. We have to complete three Tadpole badges. You can find these badges under Challenges What's the World. Only difference between a slug and a snail? Why, the shell, of course. Bearing in mind that I've done this twice before, the badges I've decided to complete are Archer, Athlete and Mammologist, for which you will need a camera, but I will cover that when we get there. I will be covering each of these badges in separate episodes, so tune in next time to see how to complete the Archer badge. That's all from me today. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching.